What up everybody, so glad you're here. JJB Cattle vlog number four. Uh, we made it to it. Been, uh, been doing the same old, same old in the quarantine life, trying to stay out of as many places as possible. Um, I have asthma, so I've been kind of freaked out a little bit by that being a pre-existing thing that could really uh, affect me if I were to get the corona. I know it's a very slim chance, but man, I really like living, and if it means I need to stay at home a little bit more than normal, willing to do that. Um, been staying busy here on the farm. We have bred nine heads so far. We did the first five to the Churchill Pilgrim Bowl. Pilgrim is the sire of our best two-year-old. We showed her last year. Um, Penny is her name. She's got a really nice bang-up heifer calf sired by Speed at side. Um, if we decide to show a pair this year at the State Fair, she'll be it. I'm really not sure. I want to put myself through that whole pair deal again. That's a lot of work. And I'm really just not sure I want to get after it that hard. But Penny is awesome. She deserves to be able to go. Um, the second group that we bred, we bred to the High Roller Bowl. Came from Curry's. I saw him in Denver and I was a big fan of him. Um, I think he's got some tools that are going to help our herd out. Hopefully we can get some stuck to him. Our bull from Canada will be down here later this week. Very excited to see him. Not really pinpointed for sure when he's going to get here, but stay tuned. I'm sure we'll have him on Instagram and Twitter and the Facebook page. Uh, just real like a kid before Christmas waiting to get this dang bull. You may have saw on the JJB Facebook page that Crystal and I had an egg coloring contest. It didn't go my way. I mean, I thought I made a hard push on the Instagram story. Really put out there why I felt that my pen of three was superior. I, I just don't, I don't know what happened. I mean... I feel like I got jobbed a little bit. Crystal keeps telling me that hers was just better and I just don't believe it. Uh, I'll show you the video here. You, you can be the judge. I feel like I just knocked it smooth out of the park. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my eggs for the contest and why I feel they're superior and why they should win this inaugural egg coloring contest. First up, I'm going to tell you about my egg for the hill. This guy here, he is the sire of two of the eggs that I have in the pen. He's really the one that kind of changed the game for us. A couple of them from the pen could have made it up on the hill, but really wanted to give the old boy a chance and let him ride out and go down in history as a real game changer for the egg coloring deal. Next up, I'm going to show you the pen of three here. You can tell a little bit by just first glance, these are all maternal sibs. Our lead egg and our anchor egg are actually full sibs. Came about from the same process, really nice. Our middle egg here, he's our uh, curve bender. He's got the really great EPDs. He really brings up the EPDs for the group as a whole. But he also, you study that guy on his own merit, he is a dang good egg. A lot of depth, a lot of color there. This one, he's just a standout. I think he could have won that hill show if we would have put him in it. He's got that really cool splash of purple right through there with the darker colors. Really neat. And then this guy, I think he would have held his own. He's not as good as the brother up front, but dang. He can change some things for you. That process that 
takes to get that kind of action on an egg. That ain't easy. That ain't something you just wake up and do. That's our pen. And once again, the daddy, the guy that started it all, our hopeful grand champion on the hill. So, as you can see, I'm just befuddled, confused, not really sure why I didn't win. What I do know for dang sure is I am going to come back better next year. Next year is my year. I've got this thing. I am going to practice. I am going to have the best looking eggs in the whole dang country. You can take that for data. It is on. Man, I'm mad I lost. Can you imagine what it's going to be like if I lose the bottle calf contest if I'm this mad over eggs? Ugh. Well, whatever. On to the next. I need, just like everyone else, golly, I need a haircut. What a deal. What a deal. Um, got to watch my buddy Corey Callahan's film. Got to preview that. Uh, the Passenger, I believe was the title of it. He did a good job. It's his second film. Uh, really love getting to see my friends do what they love and excel at. I'm very excited for him to release that. I think I saw on IMDb it's got a 2021 release date is what the schedule is for that. Love supporting my friends and watching what they do. Corey gave me some solid advice for this vlog as well. And once I can justify the expense, we are going to improve this thing and really be turning and burning then. Thanks, Corey, for the advice. Always appreciate you. Love you, buddy. Our Umbarger and Vitafirm order comes in tomorrow. Pretty excited about it. Um, we got in some sheep feed and goat feed, which we have not gotten in before. Excited about that. Really like being able to provide these high-quality feed products for these county fair projects and state fair projects. That's how this whole place started. And it's definitely what keeps the fires burning here is helping out these kids and making these projects work for them. Uh, we also got in some extra concept aid mineral this time in the current economic climate. The only thing that you dead ass cannot afford is an open cow. Concept aid helps get your dang cows bred. Feed them concept aid, you win. That's all there is to it. Simple as that. Easy as one, two, three. Thanks to everyone that is a customer of ours. If you are thinking about buying the products from us, get a hold of us. Check out the feeds page on the JJB Cattle website, jjbcattle.com. Feeds tab is right up there on the top. Check it out. Get a hold of me. Let me know what we can do to help you. That is our goal. Uh, Crystal worked on a project that was really cool with uh, Sandra Bransel. We did a little deal, show it up here, for uh, the national ad campaign has come home to Hereford, so they did a fun play on that. Really want to thank everyone that participated. That was a fun thing to do. The response was astronomical. There was over 25,000 uh for the reach on our Facebook page from that post and other people shared it not directly from that which is great as well uh, awesome to show our Hereford pride Hereford family is one of the best I usually end this with a song from the playlist but I honestly just don't have one this time didn't even think about it so I'm just going to leave you with uh, please hit the subscribe button little like button down there would be great if you could do that but while you're at it just like follow me on social media you know at jjp cattle co i appreciate it makes me 
get a nice warm feeling in my and down the cockles of my heart when I see a new follower. Always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Be kind. Love each other. I love you. See you next time.